Good morning. So you want to let yourself on fire, do you? Well, you clicked the right video, because I'm going to teach you what I did to set my sticks on fire for the fireball video. And look at me. I turned out just fine. <laughs> but seriously, if you can pull this off, you're going to get so much street cred, and you're going to be just like me and get all the ladies. And all the dudes. <laughs> Gay! Let's, let's cut that part out. So those of you who have been following me for a while might remember that I made a top 10 advanced stick trick video about a year ago. And the number one advanced stick trick in that video was lighting your sticks on fire. Number one, lighting your sticks on fire. So, sorry to disappoint, but I'm not going to be demonstrating this one, because I've never done it before, yet. But I don't want to try right now, because I don't want to burn my house down, or burn myself. And unfortunately, I couldn't demonstrate it at the time, because I'd never done it, but now I have. So, here's a demonstration. I guess the first thing I want to say about lighting your sticks on fire is don't do it! Because, just like your grade school teachers probably told you, playing with fire is dangerous. You can get hurt. Like, seriously, you can get really f***ed up and put in the hospital. Ah, stop chopping roll! You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby! I'm on fire! You're not on fire! But, some of you guys are going to do this anyways, so the least I can do for you is tell you what I did to go through this process and not hurt myself. So, once again, don't do it unless you want to be a legend like I am. There's probably a better way to do this than what I did. I just kind of used some stuff I had laying around the house at the time. And I tried a few things that didn't work very well, and a few things that did work, and eventually I found a method that I thought worked best for me at the time. But if you have any ideas on how to wrap and light the sticks, please comment below. And that way, maybe next time I do this, if I do this again, I'll have a better way of doing it. So first things first here, you're going to want to be at a safe location when you try this. I'm at my dad's house, which has a pool. And anyone who plays Pokemon knows that fire is defeated by water. But if you can't get to a pool, then at least have somebody with a fire extinguisher ready to go. Oh. See? I've engulfed in flames. That could happen. Good thing I'm at a safe location. All I gotta do is go for a swim. Okay, so here's my process for this. So you're going to need three things. You need an old t-shirt, some duct tape, and a crappy pair of sticks. You can see I already tried lighting them on fire before, and there's some remnants right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your t-shirt, and you're going to cut two chunks out of it to wrap around the stick. So about that big, I mean it doesn't have to be cut perfect because remember you're going to set it on fire. And by you I mean me, because remember don't try this unless you want to be cool. Alright, so now that you got your t-shirt cut, move this crap. Okay, so now you're going to take your cloth, and what I do is I fold it in half, like such, and then start wrapping from the top. You want to leave about two inches of space of stick to cloth. So you can put the duct tape on there. So wrap it nice and tight. And also at the, the bottom end, you want to make sure wherever you're holding the stick, there's a good amount of space. 
between that because that's going to be on fire and then your hand is right there. So you want it to be a good time, not a bad time. So now take some duct tape and just tape it around. So that it holds that in place like that. And then take another piece of tape and do the same thing to the top. Now you can see I have this like extra flab. I'm gonna wanna tape that down also. So I'll take one more piece of duct tape, stretch that out to the top end. Make sure it's taped securely. So that's pretty good. We don't have any extra flappiness, not too much at least. And then just do the same thing with the other stick. And there you have it, fire sticks. So now let's walk over to the drums. By the way, expect this to wreck your drum heads completely. I only did this for about a minute and drum heads are already totally jacked up. So also, I have a couple buckets set up here. I got my water bucket to the right, and then my lighter fluid bucket to the left. Remember, water right, lighter fluid left. Don't mix them up, that'll be bad. So here we are at the lighter fluid bucket. We are going to douse the cloth in lighter fluid. And by we, I mean me. Because remember, don't do this. But you want to get lots of lighter fluid on there so it stays lit for as long as possible. Put them upside down so it drips towards the bead of the stick so I don't get any on my hand. I put the lighter fluid at a safe distance away. Now we're gonna come over to the water bucket for the most important part. I'm gonna wash my hands because they've probably got some lighter fluid on them. Dry them off. We're good. We're gonna have a good time. Now the fun begins. Remember, don't try this at home. Yeah. didn't quite make it through the whole solo. Sticks got destroyed. But that's why we do editing. We take multiple takes of the same thing and then make it look like it worked perfectly. So remember, don't actually do this. But if you're gonna do it, there's a lot of applications that the Fire Six could have. You can light up your entire drum line. You could play drum set. Or you can just show off playing with fire in front of your friends. Just make sure you practice it a few times before you do it live in front of an audience. Because if you screw it up in front of everyone, that's not going to be a good time.
And if you're gonna try this at something like a high school talent show, you might wanna ask your principal for permission to light your sticks on fire inside your school on a stage that's probably made of wood. And he'll most likely say no. No. So maybe you'll just wanna do it without asking. Just kidding. Don't do that. Do not do that. Unless you want to be the coolest kid in your school, like I was. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, EMC Productions, and also consider buying a custom t shirt, such as this one. And don't forget, have a good morning. <laughs>